I'm sorry I haven't done a video in a while. I was having some computer problems, but I got that all sorted out now, and today I'm bringing you a Glamour Doll Eyes review. Now, V or Vanessa from Glamour Doll Eyes was kind enough to send me some shadows for review. The colors that I got were UFO, which is a beautiful black with multicolored sparkles, Aqua Foil, which is a beautiful aqua with a gold sheen, Sex Appeal, which is a nice denim blue with some glitter, Disco White, which is a white with aqua glitter, and Royal Assassin, which is a, to me it's a grayish purple with sparkles in it, and Masquerade, which is a beautiful dark pink. Now for the swatches. The first color I'm going to swatch for you is Aqua Foil. If you can see, it is a beautiful teal aqua color with gold sparkles. I'm not sure if you can see the gold sheen, but um, you'll definitely see it in the, in the um, swatches. The first one is just bare and on its own. And you can see how vibrant that color is just on its own with no base. That's with no base, no primer, no nothing, just bare skin. Um, this one is with a white base. So you can see it's a little brighter. This one's with a black base. This is with a green base. It gives it more of a green tint. I love what happens to it. If you can see this one really good with the dark blue base. I think the dark blue base is gorgeous. This is applied with Vaseline right here, and this one was applied with water, so applied wet. And see the differences, the, the many different colors you can get out of that one eyeshadow. Next I'm going to swatch Sex Appeal. I love this color. It's like a, a denim blue, like a, a deep slate blue, and it's got um, different colored sparkles in it. This is bare with no base. This is with a white base. This one's with a greenish base. This one is applied with Vaseline. This one's applied with a black base. And this one has been applied with water. If you can see that. The next one I'm going to swatch for you is Disco White. It's a white with aqua sparkles. And it is so pretty. With a white base. This one's with a green base. This one is with a turquoise base. Vaseline. This one is applied with water. And this one is on its own with no, no base at all, if you can see all of those well. And the next one I'm going to swatch is Masquerade, which is a beautiful dark pinky purple with black. Okay, and this is Masquerade. The first one is with no base. The second one is with a white base. This one is with a black base. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it gets a really nice dark color. This one is with a hot pink base. This one is applied with Vaseline, and this one is applied wet. Now what I love about this pinky purpley shade is that it is a very dark pink. It's almost like a mix of black and pink. The next one I'm going to swatch for you is UFO. UFO is a matte black. Okay, if you can see these, it's so pretty. It has pretty different um, multicolored sparkles in it. Okay, and for UFO, this swatch is really not going to do this color justice. I hope you can see all the sparkle and shimmer in there. So this is with no base. See how nice and dark that is? This is with a white base. See how you can see more sparklies on the one with the base? This is with a black base. See how deep black that is? This one is with Vaseline and this one is with water. And the next one is Royal Assassin and it's got, um, I call it a grayish brownish purple. It's just one of those colors that I can't really describe with multicolored sparkles in it. And I have to do my last swatch again because I didn't realize my camera wasn't turned on. So yay me! <laughs> so I believe the last one was Royal Assassin. So we'll do that again for you. <laughs> I apologize. It's just one of those days. It's not a good day in Tracyville. And to boot, this is the third time I filmed this review. But when I was having computer problems, I kept losing my review in the middle of the whole thing. And this is Royal Assassin on its own with a white base with a black base, with Vaseline, and applied with water. Okay, so now that I've done the swatches, let's talk about things that I really like about Glamour Doll Eyes. Shipping is really, really fast. Like, normally it takes me about a month to receive anything from the U.S. It's like only two weeks later, and my son went down to the post office boxes, and my shipment was in there of the Glamour Doll Eyes, and he came home, and I went on Twitter to message uh, Vanessa to let her know that I had received them, and she had sent me a message to see if I had yet, so she stays right on top of her orders and her shipments, and I think that's awesome. Now, when you receive a shipment from Glamour Doll Eyes, it's going to come with the neatest business cards you have ever seen. This is the one 
This is the other one. I don't know how well you can see that with the greens and the yellows. I believe her name is My Eyeshadow is, is Odd. And on the back, there are all kinds of really neat pictures um, to give you inspiration. And these are so neat. My friend Sam, she's pretty much a tomboy, doesn't do her hair, no makeup, that sort of thing. If she came over and she saw My Eyeshadow is Odd's picture on the front. And she saw her on the on the back and she was like you have to do this yellow and green look on me Tracy you got it it was 10 o'clock at night and she's like you have to do this look on me Tracy you have to do this and it's just it's so inspirational that I guess just everybody excited about the colors I think these are like really really neat business cards and back to what I was saying about my eyeshadow is odd that's one of her sponsored girls she actually uses pictures of her sponsored girls on her business cards and there's only actually 2,000 of each business card so they're actually very limited I really love these labels. If you can see that, I don't know if you can read it from where I am, but it has the name of the color right down here at the bottom, which is awesome because most of um, most mineral or pigments come with a dark lid and you can't see the color head on. So I store them in a cookie tray like this, but these ones have the name of the color right on the front and I think that is really awesome. Another thing I like about them is that they test on people, not animals. I think that that is awesome because testing on animals is wrong. It's people that use the product and I think it's important to test the product on people. And I just don't use products that have been tested on animals. So I think it's awesome that she tests these products on herself and on other people. I also like the fact that Glamour Doll sells gift certificates because sometimes you want to get somebody some colors, you don't know what colors to get them. A gift certificate is the best route and I'm, glad, I'm really glad that she offers those. Now how expensive are these shadows? A jar like this is $6. If you get a 1 gram sample jar, it's $2.50. And if you get a 0.5 gram sample baggie, it's $1.50. Now she also sends you two free samples with every order. And she, that's not just the first time you order, that's every time. And on top of all that, she offers free shipping for orders over $30, which I think is incredible because shipping and handling is quite expensive. And it's nice when you can get free shipping and save yourself a few bucks. Now another really neat fact about Glamour Doll Eyes is that these shadows actually used to be more expensive. But because she cares about her customers so much, V actually went out and found cheaper suppliers who, so that she could provide the product to you at a more reasonable price. I think it's really commendable that her customers mean that much to her that she would go out of her way to try and find a way to provide the product for a less expensive price point. Now for the cons. Um, there's not really a lot of cons with these. Um, some people would say that it's a con that the jars come like this with no sifter. To me, it's not a con. I don't like sifters. Um, if a product comes with sifters in it, I take them out and throw them away anyways. I just find it's easier to work with because what I do is whatever comes out on my lid is what I use on my eye. And if it's like not enough, then I'll just shake it a bit and then just take the, like put the lid back on, shake it a bit and use it again do the same thing again and use what's in the lid. And I find that easier. I find when there's a sifter in a jar of a pigment that I can't get enough color on my brush and it drives me crazy. So if something comes with sifters, I take the sifters out anyway. So for some, this will be a pro. For some, it will be a con. For some, it might not even matter. But I think it's great that they don't come without sifters. The only real con that I had with these, and I do, I do love these, but the only con that I had is that they come with a little piece of tape on this side and this side. And I just really wish um, heat sealing. I just really wish they were heat sealed. No particular reason. It's just I, I kind of like shadows that are like tightly sealed and everything. And that's not even a big issue. And for some of you, it won't even be a con. That was the only thing. Like if there was anything that I would have liked to have seen different about them, it would have been a heat seal around the edges. So, at this point, we have weighed the pros, weighed the cons, seen swatches, and looked at the price tag. I would highly recommend these eyeshadows to anyone. I absolutely love these shadows. Um, even the cons I mentioned aren't really cons. Some people won't care about sifters. I don't care about sifters. The only concern I had was a heat sink, and a heat sink is really nothing in the grand scope of things. Whether or not a product has um, a heat seal around the edges isn't going to keep me from wanting it, isn't going to keep me from using it, and isn't going to keep me from buying it. So all in all, uh, with everything weighed out, I would definitely recommend these shadows. I'll put a link to Vanessa's website and her YouTube channel in the sidebar. Um, 
definitely check out Glamour Doll Eyes. You will not be disappointed. If you love color, you are going to love these. Until next time, YouTube. Talk to you later.